Hello and welcome to this episode of Adobe Premiere Elements 7 for Beginners. In this week's episode we're going to look at how to add audio and edit audio on the timeline and then mix audio for our video project. So the first thing is let's have a look at the project I've got set up at the moment. At the moment I've got one video clip which is a sample video from Microsoft and it's some horses running with some music in the background and that's it. What we're going to do in this episode is we're going to get rid of the audio that's on the clip. We're going to add a soundtrack to it. We're going to add a voiceover and then we're going to mix different channels of audio along with some sound effects. So the first thing we need to do is import in all the audio we need. So I'm going to import in my music soundtrack and also the sound effects. So I'm going to go to get media. I know that I've saved my files on my PC. So I'm going to go to PC files and folders to look for the files. There's all of my sound effects there. So let's add those. And I'm also going to click Get Media and I'm going to navigate to where I've also saved uh, a very, very bad voiceover uh, on my desktop. If I can see it, that is. Let's go to List. Over there we go, and that's it. I'm just going to drag that in there. Perfect. So, uh, as you can see, my other stuff's disappeared now. So I'm just going to click the show all to show all the files I've got in here now. So voiceover, and then I've got some sound effects, and then I did have some music uh, for the life of me. I can't remember what I've done with that. Let's go to get media, and I've probably just saved it in my music folder. Oh, there we go anything will do, doesn't really matter. And click show all once again to show all them. So now I've got my video, I've got my voiceover, I've got some sound effects and a music track. So let's start to have a look at this. I'm going to rearrange my workspace a little bit here. So right, we can see I've still got my video 1 and audio 1 tracks, my soundtrack, my narration and then video 2 and video 3 and audio 1, 2 and 3. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the original audio that's on my video track on the timeline because we don't want this soundtrack that's already on it so I'm going to right click the clip and I'm going to go unlink audio and video once that's done I can now drag over just the audio on audio 1 which is the existing soundtrack and I'm going to press backspace to delete that and now I've got my video clip but I've not got any audio on it nice and easy. So that's how we get rid of audio that is already on a clip, unwanted audio. I'm going to throw down my soundtrack which is 01 track 1 mp3 here and I'm going to put that on the soundtrack part of my my timeline and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can fine tune this a bit more. And when it kicks in now not a very nature documentary soundtrack I'll admit but there we go, so we've added on the music to the soundtrack track down here. Then I'm going to add on my voiceover soundtrack to the narration soundtrack over here. So I'm going to drag that down now. Welcome to this week's episode of Natural World, where we'll be looking at the wild horse plains of Australia, roosting places for birds, and of course the family lives of wild seals. So there we go, we've got the soundtrack and we've also got my voiceover on there. We're not going to worry about the levels too much because we're going to mix them in a few moments. Um, next we need to add on the sound effects. So uh, what we probably want to do for now is to just mute these couple of soundtracks so that they're not playing while we're putting on sound effects. So to do that I've just right clicked on the tracks and I've just unticked enable so all that effectively does is it just mutes these two tracks for now which is what we want because it's going to be very annoying if we're trying to sync up sound effects and all we can hear is my horrible voice and that awful soundtrack so um, next let's have a look at some of these sound effects so the first sound effects that I've got is some horses galloping and I just want to put that over the top of here so uh, to check what the sound effects are I'm just going to double click them one at a time and click play That 
gets a bird flapping its wings. This is a raven, I think. Yep. That's the sea. We need that one. So hopefully this will be the uh, the horses. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So let's drag down that horse sound effect and pop that on the timeline. And I'm just going to drag it into audio one, which we've freed up because we got rid of the audio from the actual um, from the video clip itself. But we see when I click play, the sound effect doesn't start till about a second in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shorten that clip by about a second, so it just comes straight in. Using the techniques from last week, which are hovering your mouse over the start of a clip till it goes to the red icon, click in and drag into where you want the clip to start from, and it's shifted it up there. There we go, and we want the uh, the horse sound effect to end when the horse is when we change the clip from horse to birds. So once again, I'm just going to hover mouse on the end of that as a horse sound effect. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to sync up as much as possible these sound effects, and there we go. And we've also got uh, the C sound effects that we wanted to add in because we got the C in the background here. So I'm going to drag that onto audio two. There we go, and once again, I'm going to set that to end at the exact same time as the horse's galloping sound effect. There we go. There we go, perfect. Uh, next up, we'll put the birds on. So, uh, we had, let's have a look. What one was this? What was this? That's a bird flapping. Let's add on the uh, the raven call first, which is this douse raven. So exactly the same, I'm just going to drag it onto the timeline. And I'm going to use my back and forward keys on my keyboard to move along one keyframe at a time to where that seal clip comes in. And then I'm going to cut that raven sound effect down to that point there. Hey presto. And... Then we're also going to add on the birds flapping its wings sound effect that I've got for that clip and we're going to overlay that. There we go. So you can see that I'm just literally going to fill up the audio uh, with these sound effects here. And for this one, rather than spooling through, I'm going to use the scissor tool and cut it there and then delete the unwanted part there. So now we should have the birds calling and the flapping sound effect. And this one I'm just going to move that around a little bit so that the flapping comes in a little bit earlier. So it's all about syncing the visuals to the audio. Perfect. Right. And I've not got a seal sound effect, unfortunately. I didn't go that far. So now you can see we've done some very simple audio editing there. We've added on some sound effects to, for horses in the sea for this first clip to make it appear like that's the audio. And we've added on a bird call and flapping sound effects for that clip there. So let's unmute our narration by click, right clicking the clip and ticking enable again. And likewise for our soundtrack, right click and enable that clip again. And now I'm going to play it, and it's going to sound really, really confusing because there's going to be so many sounds going on at once and they're not going to be properly mixed, so they're all going to be quite loud. I imagine the soundtrack's going to overpower everything. Welcome to this week's episode of Natural World, where we'll be looking at the wild horse plains of as I thought. Um, one more thing we needed to do that we didn't do is to also shorten my voiceover, so I'm just going to shorten that there. There we go. So it should be a bit more in sync now. And right, perfect. So uh, let's get to the mixing then. So if we click mix audio here, we'll bring up our mixer, and we can see that on here we've got uh, audio one, which is our sound effects for the bird flapping and also the horses galloping. We've got the narration, which is my voiceover, the soundtrack, which is the music, audio two, 
which is the um, C sound effect and the Raven croaking sound effect. So what I'm going to do first of all is I know that that soundtrack is too loud, so I'm going to drag that down a little bit to minus six. And if I click space, bar, welcome to this week's episode of Natural I'm World. We're looking at the wild horse plains of Australia. Still a little bit loud. Roosting places for birds and. So let's go back to the start and let's take that soundtrack down even more to minus 12. If you've never used the mixer before, um, basically the levels where it says level, you've got a slider bar for each different tr audio track um, on your thing. The slider bar for levels is essentially the volume, the playback volume, and you can set the playback volume for each one individually, um, or you can even get it to change over time by if you play it live and change the volume, it will do what's called keyframing, so it will change the volume as you go through. So. Let's have a listen now that I've moved it down to minus 12. Welcome to this week's episode of Natural World, where we'll be looking at the wild horse plains of Australia. That sounds good. It's a bit better. I'm going to move it down to minus 18. My voice over is a little loud, so I'm going to move it to about minus 6. Let's go back and have a listen. Welcome to this week's episode of Natural World, where we'll be looking at the wild horse plains of Australia. That's a bit better. Let's move audio 1 up a little bit, and audio 2, so we get those sound effects a little bit more. Welcome to this week's episode. Welcome to this week's episode of Natural World, where we'll be looking at the wild horse plains of Australia, roosting places for birds, and of course. And I think we still need to move up a couple of clips audio individually. So now let's have a look at the clips themselves. Now we've done our, our mixer very, very basically. I'm going to click the X to get rid of that. If I want to change a specific part of the audio of one clip, so I do know that I want to make the horse galloping a bit louder. I can click it on the timeline by left clicking, go to properties, and then properties of the audio clip will come up in the top right here. Let's use the little arrow key to open up the volume and balance, and I've already got that set to maximum, I believe. Yeah, I have. Ah, alas. So what, what we need to do here is probably add on a little bit of audio gain. So. If we go into uh, edit, go to effects, and choose audio effects. What we want is we want to add a bit of gain to this one here. Uh, so let's go to volume and click apply. And then let's see, drag it across if not. And then we go back into our clip itself. And we've got clip properties, and let's have a look. So we've got volume, balance. Oh, and I did. <laughs> I did one too many volumes there. So let's try and crunch that up a bit more. Welcome to this week's episode of Natural World, where we'll be looking at the wild horse plains of Australia, roosting places for birds. And let's try that again then. Let's add on a bit more volume, channel volume. And I'm just dragging them up. Welcome to this week's episode of Natural World, where we'll be looking at the wild horse. Perfect. And likewise, that sees a little bit loud. Welcome to this week's episode of... So let's turn that down by dragging down the slider bar for the volume. And there we go. Perfect. Welcome to this week's episode of Natural World. A little bit quiet, isn't it? We'll be looking at the wild horse plains of Australia, roosting places for birds, and of course the family lives of wild seals. Absolutely perfect. So that's some very basic audio editing techniques there using a couple of effects to get the volume up, channel volume, 
and volume and we've learnt how to arrange on the timeline and the most important thing is trying to sync up your sound effects to your video. Do a little bit of prep work, make sure you've got all your sound effects and music downloaded beforehand so it's quick and easy to put them in and look through your footage to know exactly what kind of sound effects and music you want. Um, the music I've picked isn't the best music obviously for a nature documentary um, so I'd advise having a better ear for music than I. Thank you for watching, any questions please put them in the comments below.